So, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and now you're probably wondering, like, why am I reviewing this set? Of which, well, usually I would review a Lego Lexa Force set or Star Wars set in in the rotation of that, but since now that we have, whereas by this point, or by now, the yeah, new Indiana Jones movie is most likely set to hit theaters quite soon. Well, I thought it'd be nice to review just a couple more. Since I did do review a couple more a while ago, well, that would be nice to do so again as well. Well, so, well yeah. And this, and so now we yeah, have the Indiana Jones uh, River Chase set from 2008. And so first off, for the minifigs included, it is first off, we have Indiana Jones himself. And this which same as from that is found in most other sets. At, at sets like have that classic satchel piece and the torso printing, face printing, done quite well for that. And now uh, what's kind of confusing is, let me bring in more. Is why is it the more usual traditional kind of face printing? Well, this, but whereas for this set, which is based upon a uh, Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, the fourth film, but he and that one was quite a bit older than that. So, like, why not put some like bits of gray on it? Because if this set were made now, he'd probably have some bits of gray on it. Yeah. But aside from that, still a quite good mini fake included good print like printing and everything and of course the classic wit piece and next to which is Mary Ravenwood who which did come in a few other sets as well and as you see good torso printing and good face printing and kind of a unique face printing like with the traditional mini fake eyes but in blue you know even though we kind of do See some of that on most later figure minifigs after. But it's not and also we are holding what's so probably a like gas tank holder, but uh, of course being a by two by one brick with a sticker on it and also held by a little piston by old style by Western revolver piece. Kinda interesting how that is, but yeah. And we would have uh, two uh, Russian soldier or Russian German soldier, who which did come in a couple other sets as well. But I see both of which have different face prints to them, probably to distinguish them or distinguish from each other. But as you see, one of which does hold the classic uh, coffee cup mug piece and also a set of binoculars there. But I see all the me all these figs except for Indiana Jones. Which don't have any like printing, well, since of course there are earlier figures, obviously. But yeah. And as for the back prints of each of them, uh, which it's not at only back printing for each of them, except for unlike with the one uh, German soldier here, which does have an actual backpack piece there, and also all the rest of which not at only double sided face as well. Except for Mary Ravenwood, and, and of course, but yeah, and that's about it with this mini fig selection. Well, as far as it goes, I think they also could have included Mutt Williams in this set, and uh, also maybe also a couple of monkeys, as suiting to the that whole this whole chase sequence in the movie kind of does. But yeah. Well, maybe that would have been much, but aside from that, still a good selection as is, but yeah. And also you get the, like, classic uh, crocodile piece with the, like, movable jaw kind of bit to it, and also three, six studs on the back, which classic kinds, but at least until we got the later updated versions in some city sets, but yeah. Also, you get this life raft kind of piece, which, as you can see, the usual kind that's been used for a long time, usually in like city sets. But interesting seeing it here, but yeah. And as you, and you're probably wondering, where's the other ore? Well, 
And since I got it used off Brickling, didn't include that, but I'll get it separate at a different time, but yeah. And then as for this back part of which, which does have a few uh, pieces to it with, holding, with a propeller on it, and also do get a round plate on there, most likely to put the crystal skull on it, but you don't get the crystal skull in this set. Yeah, but yeah. And also do get a couple of tap kind of pieces. It's used as like different as the lever for it. But as for the front part, which has just a couple of cones and a classic shotgun piece for that and a little clip brick on it, probably to represent like a scope or light on it. But aside from that, still quite a fair as for fair build as is, but yeah. And now to one of the main builds is what's supposed to be a German Swoovac. And of course, I'm sure a lot of you have probably seen custom versions of it from like, uh, what's it called? From Brickmania, yeah. And, but at least this is one of the only times we ever got one officially in LEGO, but aside from that, the build of it quite good and well effective. Like for this front part of the vehicle, part of which comprises mostly a few jagged slopes on there. Or inverted jagged slopes representing the bottom boat section of it since of course it's an amphibious one. And that's for this top section, which has plenty of greebles going on. Like you get clear studs used as headlights and also a little rifle, another rifle as well. Kind of the same thing going on and and not sure what this is for, probably like cover-ups or something. But of course, although if this were made nowadays, probably include a stud shooter on it, to of course. And as for this a windshield piece, the usual classic windshield piece, but with a nice print onto it, which, and in which immaculate. Oh wait. Oh wait. It's actually just a sticker, but it looks quite good for how it is as a windshield with the wipers and everything. And as for this center section, with, with one little technique that we don't see anymore is a sticker over multiple pieces. You know, some like uh, curved bricks underneath there. Probably to give it the boat hull kind of effect going on. And as for this center section, which comprises of two seats and a steering wheel and also a printed tile piece with different gauges for it there. And this back section, which comprises mostly a shovel and also a little uh, gun there, like we've seen on most earlier clone troopers and Star Wars sets, of course. And as for this back section, and also, do you get another one of those gas kind of things, but, or maybe I just misplaced it there, but whatever. Or, or I just placed it there mistakenly. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah. But aside from that, also do you get an extra spare tire on the back part. And also do you get a little propeller piece to propel it through the water. Which, like we've seen on most boatmobiles in the SpongeBob line, but and of course this, which can kind of it work out as a boatmobile in the start in SpongeBob lines, but but uh, as is quite a fair good build for how it is. But yeah, and now on to the last bit, which is this tree kind of build. And of course, it's tree quite uh, similar to most tree builds we get. Well, except for how it is, like, comprised of mostly a small little ugly rock piece in brown and for that, but on the back side, which is a little crate, and uh, what you get in it? Nothing, but, oh, also forgot to mention that in this set, you get a couple of red snake pieces. I just forgot to put them out for this review, but, okay, whatever. But also off the side have the traditional classic ladder piece, double clip ladder piece, which holding 
one of the like classic leafish kind of pieces both on the side and also one clipped underneath kind of interesting how that is and of course the rest of this whole base of which held on those these uh, brown pillar type pieces there and archways above and as for this top section which has one of those odd curved in plates and also do you get another a rifle with things on it in tree quite just about like most other tree bits and of course the usual leaf bush pieces above but yeah and as for one of the main features is that you notice this rod in the back of which is which to launch the net to fit out a oh, whoops Locked it out like so and capture any ones like that. of which good nicely done feature of course and let me get it off here So overall, I think this is which a quite good set for for 2008 standards. Well, like for the $20 it was back in 2008, of which you got plenty of good stuff going on, like right, two water vehicles, one as amphibious, a crocodile, and four good minifigs including, and also a little treat bill for that. But with some interesting things that we don't see with any other Lego trees, but yeah. But aside from that, as for the price for piece of it, quite good for Isaac. So this set is kind of a sign of the times, but like you got plenty of stuff for the cheap price that it is. But like if this were remade nowadays, I think it the Schumwagen would have been the only build for it. But at least that's alright, but yeah. And for everything else which quite good for as is, but yeah. And so now if you're looking to, and if you still had this app from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of it. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to this set, then I say definitely get it. eBay, eBay Bricklink or Mercari, whatever. And that's about it for this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.